Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Michael and in today's video, I'm back to give you another Disney Dreamlight Valley speed build. It's been a while since I posted a video and I thought why not do a fall video since fall is my favorite kind of season. And this one is great if you don't wanna do a spooky or Halloween type build, but you still wanna do something fall related going into November. And that's gonna be creating an orchard. So this is a little bit more of a practical build. And I already had this space kind of open over here. So I knew I wanted to make something out of this space since it's just wide open. And I thought, why not create a little orchard for Goofy? And he can be kind of like the owner of the orchard. So I put his house over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start creating some cute little decorations around his house. And then after that's set up, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna start putting in all of these trees. This is a great build if you wanna do something a little bit more practical. And when I say practical, I mean, you get like a good use out of it as well as it looking nice. So instead of just simply for the aesthetics, you're gonna be able to also do something really great with this in your game. So it helps out your gameplay a little bit. And this is great if you wanna keep all of your fruit trees all together so you can just start harvesting all of them all at the same time. And this one isn't gonna include any of the fruit bushes or like the coffee bushes. This one is strictly gonna be focusing on trees. I wanted this to be like a fruit tree orchard. And go ahead and experiment and play around with the different order of the trees. I went ahead and I mapped this out a little bit before I went ahead in with the build. Otherwise, it probably would have taken me like an hour just to record and figure out where I wanted to place all of the trees. Um, so yeah, go ahead and have fun with this and experiment and see what you wanna do. Um, have fun with it. Try out different ways. If you only wanna use one kind of tree and then add some bushes, that's another option. Or if you just wanna use trees, maybe this will provide some inspiration for you. And now that I have all of the trees laid in a position that I really like, I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating. We're gonna first start off by laying some fencing down. I'm gonna go ahead and use some white fences just cause I think it creates a really nice cottage core rustic feel and it goes really well with Goofy's house as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay those down on both sides of the different entrances. And after I put the fences in, I knew I wanted to also have Goofy's stall over here, just as like a little shop as you enter into the orchard. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with that little section a little bit and just add in some miscellaneous items. And I'm also gonna go ahead and put some trellises on the outside of these trees, just to make it feel a little bit more secluded and hidden when you're actually inside the orchard. I'm mainly using a few of the same items and I'm gonna spread these out throughout the whole build, but I'm going in with some miscellaneous items such as these benches and these crates. And of course I'm gonna use the barrels, which I use in almost all of my builds. And then I also got a new item in Scrooge's shop today, which go perfect. And they are basically a wooden crate and it just looks so perfect. Um, for this build because it looks like something that you would carry around in an orchard to fill up your basket with So you're gonna see I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some empty spots with those as well
I've mentioned this in a few of my videos, but I think sticking to a similar color palette whenever you do builds really makes a cohesive look, and that's what I'm going for with this. I'm using a lot of browns and grays and greens just to keep everything really simplified, and it's going to help achieve the rustic look, and it's also going to just make everything look really uniform and clean. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and add in some apples, and I'm also going to add in some fall touches as well. This isn't really a Halloween build, but I think adding a scarecrow, and later you're going to see I'm going to add some pumpkins, just creates a more fall festival feel, and that's what I wanted to go for with this. Quick apology, the camera might go a little crazy right now, and I'm sorry about that. I thought it would be a little bit better now that I have the game on PC, which I am currently making this build on, but I realize it has some difficult camera situations, just like my Switch had, so apologies on that. But now that all of these miscellaneous items and the fencing is laid down, I'm gonna go in with some underbrush items just to fill this in a little bit more and make it look a little bit more natural. And then after that, the build is gonna be pretty much done. So I'm gonna start to wrap it up out here and be sure to stick around to the end because of course I'm gonna have some more cinematic views of the finalized finished product of this build. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support you've been giving me on my channel so far. We've been growing so much every time I make a new video, and I'm so grateful and appreciative of that. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below what your favorite part of this was, or let me know what you're doing in your valley as far as a fall build goes. I'm really curious what, we're, what people are doing for fall that's not necessarily Halloween related. And go ahead and leave a like on this video because that really does help out my videos. And share this video if you think this could help somebody. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. 
And until next time, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy these cinematic clips.